I always choose to accept any challenge that's got to do with food. Um, I have recently grown into the sort of foodie community and uh, living in Cape Town at the moment, I really got to explore some of the best of the best. Uh, I also love what Fairtrade is doing, so I really like the work that they are doing and I thought it was a bit of a challenge. I'm so used to getting sort of convenience cooking, um, so it was nice to actually think about what you're making, put some heart into a meal for once. Tonight I prepared a really delicious meal. Um, I've kind of taken inspiration from all the people I work with. So uh, Clem and myself work in the kitchen on Optin Express quite a lot and he inspired me with a rub that we're doing for a roast that we're making. So I've included quite a few fair trade ingredients in that. So we popped in some of the fair trade coffee beans in there and we blitzed that up to obviously grind, grind the beans. Um, in that rub also I've put in some of the black pepper and garlic uh, that, they've, that they've had up in there. Um, also in that rub uh, what I've thrown in is uh, chipotle chilies. Um, and so that's created a little rub that we put in, a little bit of uh, brown sugar. We rub that into a really nice rub that we put inside the oven now and that's slow roasting uh, for about an hour and a half. So that's going to be delicious, that's for main course. And in dessert we had a guest on our show called Chiara Turilli. She sells a lot of really delicious sweet treats. Um, and so she's taught me how to make a, a poached pear tort. So what I used is I found the fair trade red wine and we poached the pears in a red wine um, just to get it that nice, that really nice rich colour. Um, and so we poached the pears in that and I've used fair trade dark chocolate. Um, in that, um, I found the dark chocolate here, it's a 60%, which is nice, it's not a 70%, um, so it's got, still got a bit of sweetness left in it, um, as we're making a tort, which is a nice dessert, it doesn't have flour in it, um, so it's super delicious and full of flavour, and then obviously to complement all those dishes, I have to serve it with a bit of wine, so um, we've got the bottle of red that I've bought another one of, because um, red goes well with the meat, and I've also bought the nice white wine, because uh, one of the members at our table tonight uh, only drinks a really nice white wine, so I've bought that, plus, I've made a delicious green meat, just to throw a bit of colour in it. We've got a lot of dark meat and dark uh, roast, so I've thrown some green beans in there, just drizzle with some lemon, it should be delicious. So to my fam, Dan Ali, uh, I have to just say that uh, I, this challenge has been really eye-opening for me in so many ways, because you guys know how passionate I am about empowering young people and empowering the sort of future. And um, I'm so used to walking into stores conveniently, buying what I see, because it's available there. Um, and Fairtrade are doing incredible work when it comes to trying to produce stuff that is uh, ethically produced, uh, that saves the environment, and is also socially empowering. Um, so if you guys can during the fortnight, just take one conscious step when it comes to using your ingredients to cook. Find something that has the Fairtrade logo on it, buy it and see if you can use it in a dish. It was really simple, honestly. Um, I always thought that how am I going to put a dish together, but as you go through it with the wines, the coffees, the chocolates, anything you can find, it's basically readily available for you. Um, and you can make so many dishes out of it. And what's also really awesome is that if you guys do go to pick and pay, uh, it is there and it's available for you. So it doesn't take too much to go and look for it. It's not going to take you out of your out of your budget and out of your way to go and find the ingredients. It's really important, I think, to look after our future. Um, I've heard so many horror stories of, of children being abused and of, of some really like terrible things happening to get us the cheap products that we can find in our stores. So choose right and choose fair trade if you guys can.